Did that go down as I put a no torch in it? What a douche dog. These vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Suck a dick. <gasps> a bromance, yes. But it's but they're not bros. When I think of bromance, I think of like, you know, K-Swiss and a lot of hair gel. It's more like broke mance. Oh no shit. They actually modded in new classes? Interesting. I might have to fuck around with that then. I'm his lead mod. I got the job. <laughs> Are you even a streamer if your mods don't mentally harass you daily, though? Really? Bitch, don't touch me! It's just facts. I honestly think some of these big streamers that get in trouble for becoming manipulative pieces of shit, or always being that way, are because they don't have a mod team to put them in their place. You gotta get checked sometimes, you know? And if you don't choose to surround yourself with honest people willing to check you... You ain't never gonna get checked. And we all need a good check-in sometimes. Nobody's beyond a check. Cheers, by the way. Oh, hex, absolutely, yes. Yes. <laughs> Rod and his wonderful neighbor lady. It's, it is beautiful. Don't you think, like, the people that were checking them would eventually back out and, like, give up on them, though? I don't know. You know what I mean? Does that, did that make sense? I think I gibberished. <coughs> like, if I was a mod for someone, which I shouldn't be, but if I was, and I constantly had to, like, check them morally for the exact same thing over and over, I'd back out. I'd be like, nah, this is icky. Oh, not if they're just, well, yeah, that's true. That's a danger. That's a danger zone. <laughs> oh, yes, Hex. I think I actually watched it with Millie. The bigger the beast, in, like, one of our after RP more. sessions. <laughs> this is why I know you will fuck. Good mods become family. They will check your ass when you need it and know when all, where all the lines are. Dude. I mean, that's how I treat, like... People that I, I don't treat this, that was, that was bad wording, but like, I want my friends to be people like that as well. Like, confronting me about me possibly having icky behavior, if you know me well enough, does not sacri does not jeopardize our friendship in any way, shape, or form. And I want friends that are willing to do that because I don't want to be a piece of shit. And who knows, like, I don't think I'm a piece of shit, but I don't think any piece of shit thinks they're a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be an oblivious piece of shit, I guess. I'd rather know the shittery. The fuckery. I think that's good. And I think that's how you grow as a human being. Is surrounding yourself with people that can be like, that was gross what you did. And you'd be like, yeah, you right. My bad. Hundred percent, heck. Yeah. And it, t I mean, not saying that's an easy job, like. I'm I'm extremely non-confrontational. I do not like confrontation in any way, shape, or form. There's no other way to get me to sweat more in any way than making me, like, confront someone on something, a difficult issue or something like that. But if you want to have friends like that, you have to be that friend. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, <laughs> these corrupt Farts. lambs, they are yours now. Was that you too much? To them. Did I get too gushy? I started a new run because our run was fucked. Fools and but there was a spider above me. Is there? Maybe. Find their way to us now that the road is clear. A hundred percent. I mean, all my mods are my friends. I consider them my friends. <laughs> Dude, Eliza, like, one of the first times she ever, like, went hunting for someone that was being real creepy towards chat, she scared me. Into respect. Bitch knows her way around the internet is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Word 
Give me more, give me more. Did he fall on the floor? Give me more, give me more. Does he fuck like a whore? Is the spider one of yours or a random tourist? The one that was in my water bottle? Random tourist. Actually, it was cool. I posted it on Reddit like right away and someone ID'd it. And they're all, I find them, you know, not all over my house, but every once in a while I find one in the house. It was cool to know what kind it was. They're called a long-legged, yeah, long-legged sack spider. And apparently they're really good for pest control. For like eating mosquitoes and stuff like that because they just like hang out in the corner of your room, you know, wherever. But honestly, he probably was thirsty. <laughs> he probably came down for a fucking drink. <clears throat> is it because of Missy? You can tell me the truth. Oh. Can I plead the fifth? <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't separate my love for you and Missy. You guys are a pair. Spiritually and physically. I remember the night I had to tell a close friend's wife in front, in front of him that he had a horrid coke problem. Oh, God. When he went off, I told him, I would rather you be alive and hate me than love me while I'm one of the six carrying your ass to the grave. Amen to that, dude. I feel that. I feel that hard. I am that way, too. It's like, if if us being friends is, like, the consequence of you staying alive, like, I guess. I can't. I don't want to be friends. I couldn't. I couldn't live with it. Like, how can you just watch someone you love, like, deteriorate in a way like that? I'd do the same. And morbidity. <clears throat> Damn it. Did you hear that, like, a Canadian that got arrested tried to, tried to, like, plead the Second Amendment or something in Canada recently? It was pretty funny. I don't know the exact deeds of the story, but it was, uh, I laughed. <laughs> I did laugh, because I'm pretty sure their Second Amendment is something about, like, being a province or something. Measured now in gold. But it was really fucking funny. I laughed a lot. When violent, when people that want to be violent just like on their own look hella dumb, that's the shit that really gets me going. Nope. People are strange and beautiful. Like, I love it and it scares me. It's such a mixed bag, right? Because, like, if we, as, it's so contrary to say, but if we were all the same, it'd be a fucking really boring world, right? The variety in what we look at, what we experience, what we feel, that's what makes life worth, like, going out every day is the potential for something new to, like, spark our interest. Man, if we were just... That's my nightmare. The sameness of it would be so... Bland. Oh, man, bland. Bland. My biggest fear is the oblivious about how ignorant or shitty I am. Like, I want to know so I can try and fix it. Hundred, I mean, that's like literally the core of it, right? Like, surrounding yourself with an echo chamber is essentially just accepting you're at the peak of what, I, what you're going to learn, and that's it. Because if no one ever says you're wrong or, or helps you out learn something new, like, you never learn something new. Willful ignorance is the core of it, and it's my worst fear, too. Like, I never want that. I want to keep growing. Hopefully my brain goes there. <gasps> I do. I love meeting new people. I love talking to people. I think that's why I love streaming so much and just chatting with you guys because you guys are fucking interesting. I learn so much every day we hang out. It's like cracked me. Learning has cracked me. Like we all know that. I'm, I'm a psycho for it. I'll go on YouTube journeys of learning about some obscure reptile in Australia for hours and days and weeks for no reason at all. But it's fun for me and I like it. And you guys, like, I learn shit every fucking day. It's cool. Buzz Lightyear reporting for duty. I'm really excited for that movie to come out. I'm going to cry, but I'm excited. Never accept that you're never going to learn anything more ever on any subject. Can you imagine? Punch me first, right in the face. I mean, C-Town, like, if you think about it, when people come at you with, I believe, that's what that means, too. Well, I believe, and it's like, all right. I'm gonna go learn something. I, I do the same energy and hard, but I like it, and it's not harmful to me. Like, if it was something that, like, interrupted my daily life, like, I couldn't stream because I couldn't stop watching YouTube videos about 
the Angolan bird fuck, like then we've got a problem. But it's like something I look forward to in my private time. Like I take notes and I just learn and I think it's super, I do it totally alone. I don't know, it's fun. I hope other people find stuff like that they enjoy because it, it really feels nice. It's almost relaxing for my brain to find something that enthralling to just fall into. This is why I love Katie in this stream. I learn at least five new things just by conversation here. I do too, every day. I mean, every night after stream, I struggle to put my phone down and not tweet. Fuck, I learn shit from you guys every day. You're the coolest chat. I want to tweet it every night, but it's redundant. And it would sound like, what's the word? Like I was like pandering. I'm not, I really do. Every fucking day. And I usually go like, I have all these post-its from stream, writing shit down you guys tell me about it, And I go Google it all after stream. It's fun. I hope everybody finds something like that, honestly, because it is very nice and relaxing when it happens. Really. It's not as crazy as you think. The Angolan bird fuck is really interesting. Its migrational path hits all the strip clothes. <laughs> How do you think they make all their fucking feather boas? Duh. It's the Angolan fuck bird. <laughs> Netflix and chill for most people. Discovery Channel and Notepad. Oh, for, I mean, iPad, but yeah. Well, or journal. Nah, I actually write a lot of shit just on paper. I love writing on paper. It feels good. Like, I have journal. I have just, like, usually one journal going, and I write shit down. But for real, I do. Uh, yes. That, you just called me out in such a fucking nerdy way. It's beautiful, but yeah. I do. It's cool. It's how I get into stuff like that. Like, spiders and stuff. It's fun, though. I mean, Angie, normally I literally do without telling you guys, kind of. Like, if I ever come into stream hot with a fucking topic or something, usually it's something that I binge the fuck out of until 2 a.m. and I super want to talk about it with you guys. I usually do it without telling you guys what happened, like what did it, you know? Just because you guys are like my friends, you're my backboard. I love learning stuff from you guys. And sometimes the stuff I learn or like go through, you guys have way more to add on to it or can correct it because it's way, way out of date or something, especially when it comes to science, medicine, animals, stuff like that. That shit's changing so frequently. One of my favorite quotes is from Jacqueline Carey and it's from her book, Kushiel's Dart. Did I say that right? Kushiel's? It's all knowledge is worth having. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. I know, it's crazy, the writing I do. I know, but I totally do. Well, I wanted to be like sassy and be like, actually iPad, but you you're, no, you're right though. It's not, it's definitely, I write a lot. But I feel like I can't really, I love technology, but I, for stuff that I wanna write down, I don't like, I don't know. It's easier to pull up in a journal and flip to the page than open up my iPad, log in, open up that program, and then find the save file. I don't know. There's certain things that go into the iPad that are I don't care that much about. The writing stuff. <clears throat> or like the, the hard copy. You know, if I take really messy notes during RP, I'll go into my iPad and do a nice, a nice notes copy. Did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I totally could. I mean, if you guys love that shit, I love that shit. Like, I, watch, I watched a documentary on whales recently that was fucking interesting as hell. I watched, I mean, if you guys haven't seen the new, oh, what is it called? It's the new, like, fungus mushroom documentary on Netflix. It's fantastic. I watched it the day it fucking dropped. It's so good. And it's beautiful. Like, even if you're like, I don't really give a fuck about mushrooms, Katie. It's gorgeously macro shots of beautiful plants plants, mushrooms, and fungi, and it's just, I like it, <laughs> I don't know, love it, Continually onslaught. <gasps> it's C-Town, if you're ever feeling like just something really chill and like calming to listen to while you're chilling on the couch at night after work or something, that's what it's for, it's very, very like zen, you know? It's not like an awake you up kind of, you know, like lions are going to be pouncing out of shit or something. I love macro photography. I wish, I mean, the lens, I respect it. 
I don't think everyone can do photography. I think it takes an eye. I've got a camera. Am I willing to invest in the type of lens to do macro photography? No, because I just don't think I have the eye for it. But I respect it, and I love looking at it. Like, that's literally half my searches on Pinterest and shit are macro photography of, like, spiders and tarantulas and bugs. <laughs> I've always been fat. I think I like macro photography because I've always, since I can be, since I've been a functioning, like, brain that can remember anything, I've always been really fascinated with the little world, like, the micro everything. So, like, big animals were cool, but I'd wanted to get down in the grass and, like, get looks at the small and, like, always find what was underneath everything. I don't know why, though. But I still want to. I still do it. Uh, let's go treasure. Fuck it. I have my eyes out for one kills. Dude, I've been looking at the website that Comrudgeon sent me and Safi sent me one too for like good used products, like used lenses and stuff. And I've, I'm always looking out for one. But I think, I don't know, macro photography is like the hot shit. I never, I've, fuck, I fucking hate kleptomaniac. Right. The promise of safety. Hi, Kales. How are you, love? Seriously, like, the more macro, like, when you recently, oh my gosh, Angie, you'll love this. They've recently, they, meaning a team of highly specialized genetics scientists, gen genetis geneticists, geneticists, geneticists. I think I'm putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. But you know what I'm talking about. Have literally like created the first, what they believe to be the first complete 3D model of the DNA genome of humans. Like they can look at all the angles now. It's sexy as fuck. Ooh, shit gets me going. Should Google it. It's hot. I didn't save the article. It was like on my phone or something. It was on Reddit. But it's, it gives me all sorts of tinglies. Because, like, literally just as of two years ago, we only, we, we knew there was a DNA chain, but we didn't know there was, like, another one that mirrored it, connected to it. Like, we just saw it. And ever since they saw that, something in science has accelerated to where gene science has just, like, fucking poosh. Sound barrier bullshit going forward. It's pretty wild. I don't, I'm not a geneticist, and I hate, it's really, it's hard math. I don't like it. So I didn't go that way, so I can't speak to it, but it's interesting to read about. Yes, Kelty, be safe. I looked it up. The Second Amendment to the Canadian Constitution is admitting the Northwestern Territory. But there you go. So it wasn't admitting a prov province. Admitting, sing, adm oh, wow, Katie. Admitting the Northwestern Territory. The third is admitting British Columbia. Seriously, all the Canadian amendments are about adding province to territories. So this Canadian guy getting arrested for being a jerk tried to claim the Second Amendment of the Canadian Constitution admitting the Northwestern Territory to save him himself. Everything hurts in my face thinking about this. Ow. <laughs> oh, I want to know a funny story. It's not really a story, but when I was little, I would steal my mom's camera because I've always loved taking pictures because simply because of the macro aspect of it. Like I didn't have a microscope or a telescope or anything like that at home. And my mom's camera she had could zoom in and so i would steal it and i would go out in my grandparents yard and i would fill up her film with terrible pictures of like the very middle of flowers or like the very middle of a bush and to this day my dad makes fun of me to this day if he sees me like taking a picture of anything you taking a shitty picture of a flower there kate because i wasted so much of their film they wouldn't know so they'd go develop it and be like oh but I, too, enjoyed the flowers. <laughs> Just in a terrible, money-wasting way. But macro flowers are incredible. Holy shit. I really wish... I mean, if my college that I went to at the time um, had a botany program, I might have gone into it. I love that kind of stuff. It's so fucking fascinating. The whole world of plants. It's kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> Bang! Sorry, walk. Oh God, I never, I never watched Walking Dead. You know this, bitch. I read it. I didn't watch it. 
it didn't hook me. I don't know what it was. It just never hooked me. I tried. I gave it a good old try. I know digital has really been a godsend in terms of money saving. Like, holy shit. Remember how much money we used to spend on just developing film and you'd get like two pictures out of it you liked? Maybe. The comic, I think, it was really good. And then I just, so that's why I tried the show. And I was like, I, I tried it. I mean, I literally gave it a good, I think I watched the entire first season. I just, it did, it never hooked me like the comic did. The comic hooks you right away. It gets right into the bullshit right away. And I, the show, it seemed, maybe the first season was very touchy. It was very feelsy, less action y. Not really my jam when it comes to those kind of shows. Like when I'm out for zombies, I'm not looking to watch people fuck in like a, airplane hangar while people are being eaten on the other side of the wall but they can't hear it because music's going on this is not my jam it's fine i liked that shit before i actually this fucked now group. i'm like eh. trinkets and baubles paid for in blood oh, that's my favorite line trinkets and baubles until the season nagin came out which one's that guy wait wait, wait. 